Hello, everybody. Welcome back to an all-new episode. Welcome back to an all-new episode. That's what I said. Hi, everyone. It's time for more Sunfall. <sighs> Boy, it's one of those days. An, an all-nude? Welcome back to an all-nude episode. <laughs> it's about time. It's about time. It's the no beach one, episode. No one can hear what any of you guys were saying. Uh, I forgot to... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Je Jesse! Jesse, you're... You know what? It's for the best. All they heard was me saying all nude episode. <laughs> you guys are left blameless. <laughs> you're left blameless. No one can... Hey, yeah, bring this Jesse, back why on you. would you say all nude episode? Yeah, so why would I say that? Why would Way I? Way to take that weight, Jesse. Yeah, why <laughs> would I do that? Weight. What a fool I am. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hi, everyone. Are you, wait, Jesse, are you serious? I'm totem pulling the overlay. I yes. wasn't aware you had another name. I didn't know. I did you make a character? I All don't. Right. I don't recall. You're you're a character. <laughs> was, <laughs> was, hey. okay. Stats don't matter nearly as much as friendly monikers. Look, don't forget, I work for Roll Twenty. I can make your roles be horrible. You oh, already yeah. have. Yeah. If you, if you, if you, <laughs> you already have. And that's actually why Eric made all my roles be so good. Yeah. All this time. I don't know, thinking about our roles from last session, I think that curse has already taken root. Yeah. We actually, Eric, after last episode, Eric and I talked about how statistically significant the divergence is in Brit's roles. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I felt so bad for you, Brit. I mean, it was, thank you. I felt really bad for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> I also felt bad for me. <laughs> it yeah. was bad. But it, it was awesome good. because no, it was like, like you whiffed every bad. round until you crit the last one when you yeah. were the only person I was left building up my tiger powers. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, uh, Steven, I'm going to hand this over to you. Start us off with this adventure. I'm not even going to ask what everyone's been up to this week because everyone's just waiting for today to be over so they can like. Well, not Steve. Goddamn devour. That's, is there like is there like a Amsterdam Thanksgiving? No, there there is in fact no celebration of the founding of the Netherlands in the fall uh, and its separation from either France or the United Kingdom. Uh, so alas, uh, Amsterdam has to be racist in other and new interesting ways, sure. uh, which it does in fantastic colors. Um, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about yeah, Dungeons but like, and have you ever All of America? <laughs> yes, right. Yes, <laughs> that, that's You're the right message. Though. You're right, though. Thanksgiving historically is bullshit and it's terrible, and we did terrible things by giving smallpox blankets to the poor native folk. That being said, we have a cornucopia uh, and yeah. lots of <laughs> lots of uh, turkey and mashed potatoes. Yeah. Columbus is garbage, but loving your family is not. So. Yes. Eh, it depends on your family, I guess. Yeah, and, and your friends, yeah. your your chosen family. <laughs> you can choose so, family. Yeah, that's yeah. It's separate. Yeah, what if your family was just garbage? What if all you had was like a used six pack and like I don't know a pizza box? What's that? What that's? And you're like, gather around, children. <laughs> don't judge people. How dare you? If your family was garbage, you're valid, and we love you, yeah, and love you, you deserve to love yourself. Yeah. Go eat a turkey or, um, you know, something non-made of animals in whatever way. You know what? Eat whatever you want. No one's going to judge you. Man, Why I want squash curry. We're yeah. not cops. Do yeah. yeah. You want to eat the garbage that is your family? Eat yeah. It. Eat that pizza <laughs> box. You Go. No, you, wanna no eat... you should not eat your family. Don't eat your family. <laughs> okay, take wait. it out of context. Just take, <laughs> clip it. Take it out of context. Put it on the send it to Twitch. Let them know they have a cannibal working in the offices. Let them know again, again, Don't the second grandma. time. Thank Not you. again. We know grandma's old. And she could. That's actually one of the questions. Family, but don't do it. That's, That's actually one of the questions they ask you in your interview. Human. <laughs> right, great. This has been great. And finally, do you eat people? Yes, if you're starving. <laughs> yes, sometimes, preferentially, like you know, just that's a good yeah. answer. Yeah, they have it. Yeah, of one it's in the food court. How do you feel about the consumption of human flesh? <laughs> Ten being, hey, yum, and one being, 
mm, I'm kind of full today. Not today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe but tomorrow. I just had Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. The food court, it's right next to the Sushirito. It's it's right there. This <laughs> long pig. Yeah. Awesome. So I hope that you all have wonderful meals lined up for today and tomorrow. Uh, I certainly do. But until we get to that, let's talk about what happened last time on the Sunfall Cycled. Uh, Jesse. Yeah. Our, uh, our YouTube fans, they have, they've missed out this time, right? Yeah. So don't worry. As we're talking right now, the episode's uploading. Um, yeah. Wicked. When your power goes out mid episode, all the recording processes you do tend not to work. So shit, shit is bullshit. We had to, we had to bootleg some stuff, but we're good. <laughs> I was up all last night. Like I'm going to fix it. I swear to God, I'll do it. Steven. Don't hurt me. And he was like, you better get that up. I, I, I was messaging him <laughs> all night. Jesse, where's my damn episode? Yeah, it was it was scary. It was okay. not okay. I was a little yeah. worried, a little frightened, but uh, I think we're I think we're good now. Took off the nice guy gloves. I'm gonna kill your character, Jesse. I and that's and I was like, again, that's not much of a threat. <laughs> these insults, uh, not insults. These threats don't work with uh, this yeah, new I show. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so given that some of our viewers may not have gotten to see last week's episode, they will have no idea if what we say is true or not. So who's going to tell us the tale of what happened last time? I can tell you what I remember. Yes. Which is probably not all of it. That's, but that's the best. Yeah, well, I remember we walked into that room with all the stuff in it and that uh, blood night, right? Blood night? Yeah. Blood night. Yeah, yes. I, I tried to sneak through the fog, and then he saw me. Uh, yes. and then, he was right there, looking yeah. at you. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't good. Uh, so uh, then we got in a fight with him, obviously. Yeah. Um, and Jesse tried to climb up this like twenty foot thing, and he it worked. Uh, to not him. try, not try. Did he did he did he climbed up this thing, and then he attacked the blood knight, and only lost one hit point, and helped helps to reduce his HP. And then later, you. You this is not so at the same time, but later then Jesse died from, uh, <laughs> from fire. Um, did, was, did, did, was it the fire that killed Jesse? It was, it was like the, the, the embers, the coal. Yeah, it was the coal. Yeah, yeah, the coal like, got knocked the over and Can't one like hit his foot uh, and then he yeah. died. Yes. And then everybody else, we were trying to fight this blood knight who kept running and attacking us and leaving. And and Jeff was the only Armorous was the only one who really was like able to keep up with him. But then Armorous died, and I was a tiger, and like I failed completely the entire time. But at the very end, I pulled through. You were the right. last person standing. There I was nobody else him alive. Right before I was gonna die. Um you so jumped he across died. the room and then yeah. caught him in the face. Yeah, I attacked him. Um, and then everybody woke up and that's all I know. <laughs> that was the most yeah, matter of you fact also retelling. Went to go, you, you also went to go see Tim, the solar demon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to see Tim to try and figure out how to get oil to him. And I brought him some oil in a water skin. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, what, what does Tim want? Tim wants friends. Tim More wants heat. friends. Hot friends. That's what Tim wants. Yes. Tim wants hot friends. Yep. I don't know, guys. I should never do this again. Somebody else should always do yeah, that. This was pristine. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just Flawless. saying, who doesn't want hot friends? We all do. Yeah. Who goes out in life Basically. and says, I want ugly friends? <laughs> uh, that's, it. that's the only way I could uh, look good. So send me, send me your ugly masses. Bring them to me. <laughs> Surround me with your marginally less attractive <laughs> Bring them. companions. I will take them all. <laughs> Uh, what awesome. did I miss, guys? Bronze, Jesse, what did I miss? Anything important? Probably. Uh, bronze had a clutch move where she yes. like waited by the the brazier and waited for him to come around the yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She him. dumped it on him because he was going to do that to us. But she was yes. like, nope, motherfucker. And she went, boom. Yep. And it, it damaged him. But what's more still... clutch? Climbing barrels and jumping on a man or kicking over a brazier? I think everybody was clutch, all three of us. In one way or really, another. You know, that play did belong to Jesse because you have yeah. to remember, even though I dealt the monster 
a hideous amount of damage by throwing hot coals on him. It's only after watching, uh, you know, <laughs> Sarek die like a little bitch to a couple of hot coals falling on him. Just I made the wait, connection. Rolled onto so, his ankle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just, Those coals back. were very hot. You don't, you don't understand. There was I told cool. like eight people cool. about that after the show. I was like, you got to listen to this story. That's the best. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Awesome. So yeah, what I think y'all y'all went back to um, uh, saloon and you identified the bronze cherub mask that fell off of the, the guy, and uh, it was the, the the blood knight's mask. And um, and then I, I guess that's where we start this time around. Uh, uh, Britt, um, yeah, you you've got this uh, this like crystal grove that now is your home yeah. the gardens of the moon right can you can you like describe it again for us so like that we can see it now in our mind's eye along yeah. with this so the pristine ground is, lake and this ancient oak tree yeah so it's overlooking the lake so that we can see out into the universe and beyond it's a good view um yeah. the ground is the floor of it is a bunch of really smooth little different colored stones Mm -hmm. And then around it, like a little open fence sort of situation or a bunch of crystals. Um, and then we also have the chest, right, that we got yeah, to store totally. things in. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just like a cozy little rock place with a good view where we can hang out. Um, <laughs> so like, uh, so, like I'm, you're I'm describing I'm... like your, your apartment. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's, it's like a nice little loft. It it's... has a little view it's, <laughs> it's, close it's, to a good school. it's not huge you know but it's it's i can fit some friends in there which is you neat. can see my bed over there but it's fine just ignore that <laughs> <laughs> awesome so I, I i guess you're all on the gardens of the moon when when all of a sudden armoro starts turning orange and like parts of him start floating up into the air in streaks of orange light and he turns to you and says and kara before i go remember don't and then he's gone. What? Remember what? And then in his place, floating down in blue streaks of light, you see the mighty totem pole return to you once again. Uh, and of course, Chad and ah. viewers at home, uh, Jeff is missing this week, but he'll be back next week. And Eric is subbing in for him on a one-time basis. Thank you for returning to us, Eric. Very welcome. And um, I, I give out a huge exasperated sigh when I realize it's you all. Uh, <laughs> have you maybe like jumped around to other yeah. more competent groups? Yeah. Awesome. Mash What's your character's name again? It's like Kairos or something? What is it? Yeah, it's Kairos. Thank you. It is Kairos. Nice. Thank you for remembering that. Yeah. That means a lot to well, me. Well, I'm the thoughtful one of the group. Oh, so. God. Totem pole. Welcome <laughs> back. Thank you. Uh, where have you been? Ah, doing battle, as always. Yeah, well, we did battle too, and we, we won, so. Yeah. You did? Ah. Yeah, we amazing. got further without you. Yeah. No doubt, to the, no doubt due to the thoughtful one of the group. Nah. Yes, me. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally about to ask. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it was because of you. I look around. Is everyone else, like, backing don't look at that. Look at me, totem pole. Look at me, totem pole. What are you doing here? What does it look like? Welcome back. It's so good to oh, see God you. Oh, damn it, Saloon. Saloon, ah. do you ever stop? <laughs> I'm just excited to see everybody. Well, take a chill pill. You're always excited. I'll just sit right here. And she sits down on the, the, the chest in, in Britt's house. Yeah. I just pat her on the shoulder. I hear that woman one more time. I'm so happy to see you. Her, her big pink <laughs> curls bounce as your as your hand pats them. Does she look like Steven's mom? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> From Steven Universe? You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. She does. Thank she you. Does look Sorry, like that's what I kept seeing in my head, and then I was like, like oh, Rose this yeah. is yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought for I a thought minute you, you were like I thought you meant my mother. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Like, well, mm, uh, <laughs> does that say something weird if I say yes? I'm like what? Steven, Steven Universe, yeah. Rose quartz. Awesome. Sorry. No. No problem. It's because where she sits, like on your chest, now like emblazed on it, it says live, laugh, love. 
Oh God, no. It's part of Celine's Not thing. in my house. Live, laugh, love, die, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> that one's okay. <laughs> well, if I was sent here, then so be it. Cool. I will. Nice I, to how have you, you been, Sarek? Don't think oh, I haven't forgotten your name. Just lovely, Toad and Paul. I have forgotten yours. Yeah. I, I give you a huge glare, just daggers. Oh, I don't yeah. even give you a glare. I walk. I walk away and start like fiddling with stuff in the in the room. <sighs> I mutter under my breath. Oh, I just love him so much. <laughs> it's like a piece of crystal just like falls off and clatters to the ground very loudly. Mm. What was that? It sounded like a crystal. That, that was, yeah, that was sorry. Oh. No, 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 nothing. Sark like kicks it under a chair. No, nah, I don't know. <laughs> Man, these they don't make these places like they used to. <laughs> I'm just like sad at my broken crystal fence. It'll grow back probably. Yeah. I'm just going to start trying to do some kind of ritual and <laughs> make it Make it come back faster. Yeah. I sit there and I try to help her and I like <laughs> mutter while licking one of the crystals and trying to use my <laughs> like, glue it back on. Awesome. So uh, Eric. Know? Yeah. Quickly before before we get too deep into it, I want to know what has changed for Kairos since his own adventures have attained him the rank of level two. Yeah. So uh, Kairos has been um, battling pretty well, uh, fiercely with his two companions, uh, Glowbug, the cleric, and Beast, their saber-toothed companion. And nice. uh, we have we have been. Uh, we also. I, would you say we also beat the Blood Knight? Is that fair? Um, I was gonna. I was gonna ask. Like, well, actually, let's. We should roll for this, Eric. Yeah, let's roll for we it. Should, we should roll. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's let's see. Uh, Party win, because we also have a beast, and we also have a Glowbug. So, mm -hmm. Eric, I'm going to say this is um like a, a strength a ability you have a check. Glow bug? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, it would be the glow bug, not me. It would be you. Oh yeah, I was going to give you a 15 as the difficulty class. So yes, I, I would say that uh, you beat the 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 blood knight. It probably took you one d three tries. So roll for me, please. Eric. It three took tries. you three tries, Eric. Y'all, y'all. Y'all ate shit a few times before finally uh, beating this yeah. guy down. Yeah, um, but I don't. I think you're probably at the same place that these folks are now. You haven't been beyond the blood knight, right? Oh, cool. So maybe I just got here. I finally just got the victory. Right. Yeah. Right. Ah. Like, so I, yeah. Like literally, like just got it. So yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I look at everyone and, and I kind of realize that you already beat me too here. Then so I'm I'm a little bit more humble. It's like ah so. I guess it's fair to say that you have also defeated the Blood Knight. Yes, it's fair to say that. Well, wonderful. Easily. I'm glad. I'm glad to it see that you are all child's play. Child's play. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you look like you got put through <clears throat> a whore's washing bucket. <laughs> That's right. Oh, wow. <laughs> just, just like a whore's washing yeah. bucket, right? With all of her naughty bits that need to be washed thoroughly that is where you were <laughs> i was i was endlessly this, amused by like how tentative bronze was with that insult uh, and the just just like yep that's right i know a good insult when i hear one and that was fabulous you yeah, good sir one. the horse you gotta use extra elbow grease to right get clean yeah those stains won't get themselves out if you don't do that well, victories do not care whether you are clean or not. A victory is a victory. We should count them. Oh God, you're so you're so chipper. I hate you. And that Sarah sounds like something to... that people who get their ass kicked say. <clears throat> Ding. It's not about getting your ass kicked. It's about standing back up. That also learning. sounds like something that people that get their ass kicked say. Instead of learning to stand up, maybe learn to not eat shit all the time. Anyways, <clears throat> welcome back, Kairos. Uh, pole. Yes, that. Welcome back. Uh, at the bottom. I, forgive me, I do not remember your name. Good, you're not fit to speak it. 
Yes. <laughs> Saloon just sets a hand on your shoulder, Kairos, and says, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, <laughs> She's no. definitely going to have cookies for you next time. Yeah, good. <sighs> uh, Very so well. Are we supposed to get more tears? Where are we with the tear situation? I we got one from the boss, right? Yeah. yeah, you got one so from uh, from the guy. Let's see. Uh, I should probably no mark down how many tiers you have as a rolling count. Uh, Four total. Let's see. Current tier count. One from Blood Knight. Yep, so that's where you're at right now. You currently have one. And uh, when you make it to three, you'll level up again. Because Dems the rules. Okay, so we have to find three more. Well, how about we uh, agree to go chase down some tears? That's the smartest thing you've said since you've arrived. Well, the way forward is open now. Into the plaza, I think it was, right, Stephen? Was it the plaza? Yeah, there's a um, like a, a, a long road that led to uh, like the parade ground. Mm. Oh, oh yes. when we beat that guy the cranks turned and the thing mm -hmm. opened right, yeah right. you you spun the wheel and you raised the gates and now the gates are open you can go like back to the drawbridge or forwards to the uh to the to the parade ground well, well before um, before we move on before we move on totem pole did you climb up all the way to the top of the tower there was a treasure up there that i'm sure you would have loved to receive no, Sark, I did not climb all the way up there. Oh my, you should. We should go back and have you climb all the way up to the top of the tower. Because None of us could use it, but you're so strong Right, it's, and it's for warriors, and look at us, we are so weak. So, we, it was a big, Scholarly. giant shield, Scholarly. and we, we none of us could carry it. Even our beloved hero couldn't carry it, so we need you. Oh, this is perfect. Yes, yes. So uh, I have an ear for when people are, are you know, spinning, spinning stories. Are no they lying? Story, no spin. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, because yeah, I have uh, a very, I have a very incredulous look, right? Like my helmet's off and I'm looking at you I'm like, hmm. I have the rock single eyebrow raised. Kairos, um, give me an insight check. All right. And uh, Sarek, give me a deception check. Sure. <laughs> a shield, couldn't lift. I've heard stories of Armoros. If I could lift it, he could. Sorry, what was the thing I was supposed to roll? I literally lost it. Deception. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, Ky this guy is, he's, it's been, Sark is such a jerk. <laughs> He's such a big mean jerk. He's just jerking no, all over. No, just... what? no, no, I would never. There was a there definitely was a shield up there and not a giant dragon. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Buddy. Come on. Oh. Come on. I'll just uh I'll let this slide as a count of bad humor on your part. Let's go. Sarek like kicks the crystal on the ground like none of my humor is bad and like sort of poop walks out like mm, stupid guy <laughs> your stupid humor <laughs> <laughs> oh, just dumb, dumb yeah right while all this has been going on I've regrown my crystals and I'm just looking at my little house like very oh, Sarek kicked those crystals down I'm again on the moon <laughs> what crystals kick crystals 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 kick down again yep <laughs> yep. <laughs> No! And uh, perhaps before we embark, we should talk about tactics. Sarek's already gone. He's left the house. Sarek's okay. out. Nice. Have you I'm gone over? Trying to have fix you like entered the dungeon, Sarek? You've already looked through. Oh, I'm and you've... already walking towards the, the little pool, getting ready yeah. to jump in. Yeah. yeah. If you, well, if you stand by me, I might be able to protect you. Sarek jumps I have the in. fighting style, by the way, friends. Yeah. So, um, if you stand within five feet of me, I can protect you. I can give you dis I can give disadvantage on a strike. If he likes you. Right. Yeah. Have you cool. guys already gone through the Oh, I'm already gone. 
I'm already, I'm done? already back in the dungeon. All right, so, then, like... so the two of you get to hear that. Okay. Thank you. I'm just doing this, and I'll probably be the last one because I'm waiting till the last possible minute to like fix my stuff. So then I run after you guys and jump in. I like nice. march towards the pool after Sarek and I like call over my shoulder and say, darker power protects me, goody two shoes. And just like <laughs> <laughs> move forward and gaze into the pool. Your soft words are nothing compared to the darkness. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I yeah. seek not your protection. I have that of mine patron. <laughs> well, they're not getting my blessed spell as I walk in after you. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, and uh, Britt and Kara just travel after the others. Yeah, I'm just like trying to fix it, and then I'm like, oh, and I just leave it and run after them. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm not happy. <laughs> how does this work? There we go. Nope, nope, not like that. Have a new That's not area. how it works. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not excited about this. Give this is dungeon, how we die. Give dungeon. Give dungeon. Give dungeon. I'm, I'm just like clicking all of the wrong settings on this thing. Choose side. Go back to 10. Choose. Good. Done. All right. Awesome. Yeah. You you teleport into the dungeon and uh you're in the very recognizable guard room uh to the right of the portcullis area. The the one with the brazier in the corner. So it's it's dark in here. You hear echoes whispering up a stairwell. Thought you could sneak past us, did you? We have use for little snots like you. Once again, uh, you you smell this acrid oil smell that's rolling down the stairs from this uh, open secret door with this fireplace with the dragon head. There's a staircase that leads down the spiral staircase that where the whispers are echoing up out of and a straight staircase leading down to a, a wooden door down below. What are y'all going to do? Uh, of course, we also may recall that you haven't um, sort of like, you haven't really messed with the blood oozes downstairs, though it's certainly not a requirement. Oh, yes. Um, hey, Totem Pole, do you ever figure out these ooze things? In what way? As in the dead Take way. Take it by them? I don't know. Did you figure them out? Yeah, yeah I gave them a gift. I gave him the prisoner. What prisoner? What did you do what? with the prisoner? We let oh, we let him go. Because we're not terrible. Oh, there was like 50 prisoners we had, and they over they overpowered us, and we, somehow we managed to survive. We didn't even ask for money. We're just better people than you are. <clears throat> Who just does that to a helpless man, feeds him to a blood? Men, person? helpless men. I don't know about that. Yeah. Whole platoon of helpless men we saved. Could look, were we walking that action around was looking not for easy. someone to feed to the blood ooze? No. That action was not easy at all to do. But this place, it does something to the calculus of souls. What the Bob, hell are you? We have what? a pet solar demon, so eat that totem pole. Yes. <laughs> do you have a demon I pet? Do you have demon? The solar demon? Why do I even open my mouth? Why do I even? <laughs> He probably killed the solar demon. Clearly, let's let's see. this calculus of souls. Ooh, hold on, hold I, they're on. the good guys, and you're the bad guy. When you killed the solar demon, how did that feel? The Horrible. Of souls. Horrible. <laughs> you're not one of those demon-friendly types, are you? No, I felt pity for the creature. Mm, but you slain it, though, yes. Yes. Ah, good. All right. I knew you weren't too bad. No stranger to fighting unfair fights. Once again, victory is all that matters. But there's still something pitiful about that thing. Yes, yes. It's got one eye and tentacles. It's terrifying. But what, what, what did you feed to the to the slime, and how did that work out? I gave it flesh. What? Who flesh? What flesh? Okay, I'll try to speak slower. <laughs> I gave the prisoner to the blood ooze. Right, and then I what gave happened? It flesh right. in exchange for some scintillating vials. Wait, so it gave it gave you vials for flesh? Is that right, Stephen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Vials <laughs> for flesh. And I want to make sure I'm not like. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh, what happened. Yeah, I'm never inviting him on this stream. He doesn't know anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, that. Okay. 
two <laughs> red scintillating vials. And they did what exactly? They healed you. They were healing. Uh, Sarek, like, looks around at his companions and just, like, kind of with the look of, like, do we need healing? Do we need, like, healing vials? Is that worth it? I mean, and Kara can do that, and we don't have to feed a poor defenseless person to the ooze, which is the only reason that we didn't yeah. do it, because our conscience told us that was bad. The ooze isn't only hungry for flesh. There are other things you could give it. Like what? Like what? What snacks does it like? I may have to ask it. I think its hunger changes based on something about the sun. What? You might ask for something long. You might ask for something shiny. What? I've been to this dungeon several times, and those are the only ones I've heard. Long and shiny? Not at the same <laughs> time. These are ores. I don't know. Oh have, God, we we're going to go talk to a slime. This is an ooze. It doesn't. I don't <laughs> pretend that it has some sort of semblance of a anything unalien about it. You might as well go check on it. I say we leave it good and well enough alone. Oh, don't make me the deciding vote. Oh God. Oh, we, what are we gonna do with healing? It's not worth it, and mm. I'm not in the mood to barter with some lower life form. I only barter with higher mm. life forms. Like me, yes. Okay, you're right. I'm with her. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see what these parade grounds are all about. Bronze, yeah. roll a d20 for me. On a 10 plus, <laughs> uh, you've, you've correctly interpreted uh, Atikusu's desires. On a 9 minus, you have not. Oh, <laughs> yeah, totally. <Yeah>. Like... <laughs> <laughs> y'all are y'all are like turning around and like about to leave when all of a sudden um I, you get like this this like obscenely painful headache and you hear this voice whisper in your head barter with a lower life form oh god damn okay wait no i think we should go talk to the blood ooze what wait what it could be useful. I thought you were in control of these people, Sarek. What's going on? I'm confused. Sarek is in control of no one. Sarek can barely control himself. I don't know oh. if you know. No. I can control everything about myself. I'm very good at controlling things about myself. And Sarek, like, stomps around and <laughs> knocks over the table. He's like, we're going outside. What are we doing? This is stupid. Okay, Sarek. Yeah. Instance. First of all, before we go any further, everybody needs to refresh all of their, like, everything that they got that back is. from long rest. Put your hit points back at maximum. Put your spells back at maximum, et cetera, et cetera. Do all the things. Yeah. Real Sorry. Quick, you're, yeah. you're, like, stomping around having a temper tantrum. Oh, a massive temper tantrum. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, Ankara, you hear, like, the scrape of, like, boot on ground. And the spear guard from down the stairs, the one with like the, the, you know, pits of shadow in his eyes is standing there stealthily stalking up behind Sarek. And before you can say anything, it thrusts out with its spear. Let's see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Classic. With advantage because of course, uh, Sarek, uh, you're being attacked from hiding. I also so hesitated to say something as quickly as <laughs> possible because I did to my crystal garden. <laughs> nice. I decided to say something, but it took a moment. It was like a flashback to the crystal garden. Yeah. 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 Nice. Sarek stormed off from us too, right? I mean, yes. We're all relatively yeah. in the same room, though. But I mean, like, I'm, I'm on not the within other five side. feet of you. I'm like by the yeah, door. Sarek, yeah, actually, wait. Five. This is a 1d8 plus one. Yeah, okay, so you, you take four damage from this spear scraping against your thigh. And then I need each of you to roll initiative. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Classic last initiative. Classic. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> I think wow. I think it's the moment because Britt and I were looking at each other as like Sarek is just totally tantruming out right now. Nice. Yeah. 
Like we're it looks just like we're still waiting on Aya's initiative. Oh, I think I pushed it. Oh, that's uh, that's interesting. I guess uh, you you didn't. Oh, yeah, okay. you may not. Have added it. Your your initiative is a sixteen, though, so I'm just adding you a turn and then okay. putting yourself there. So we've got Aya acting first with a sixteen, Sarek following with a six, and Kara and Kairos with a five. And Kara, I think you win the the uh, the dexterity tie on that one, right? Okay. Your dexterity is fifteen, and Kairos is is also fifteen. Well, whatever. <laughs> We'll go in alphabetic order. So yeah, and Kara wins. And then following Kairos is the spear guard with a two. Uh, Aya, you've seen all of this go down. Do you feel inclined to act in the defense of Sarek the tantrum baby? Yes, because I always must assert my dominance. Ah, <laughs> So uh, I'm gonna whop it with an Eldritch Blast. All right. 15 hits, roll your damage. Eight force damage, not bad. So let's see, Sark, you were kind of like over here. Yeah, the others of you were kind of in the middle of the room. Fantastic, Sark, it's your turn. You just got stabbed by this spear guard and a, a what does your Eldritch Blast look like, Aya? What what color is it? What's a, is it a um, different color? It changes depending on how my patron feels about me. And right now oh, yeah. it's like a hellish green flame. Nice, yeah, mm. which signals his extreme displeasure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Sarek, it's your turn. All right. Uh, Sarek like looks down at this dude who just—he's still on the stairs, kind of. He like walked up the stairs and like stealthed over to you and then stabbed you. All right. Yeah. He looks down at his leg wound and then just looks yeah. up at this guy like, "Are you effing kidding me?" And I just stab him with my rapier. Nice. Oh, yeah, you hit. Roll your damage. Okay, you nice. put this guy down, unfortunately, <laughs> leading to your greater insufferability. Sark, like, looks at everyone else. He's like, was no one going to tell me that he was coming up the stairs? I was about uh, to. Yeah. I walk over to you, Sark, and I put a hand on your shoulder, and I go, there, there, as I lay my hand on you to restore oh. you up to full. You're doing all right. It's did okay. You, did you just heal me? No. Me? No. Couldn't have been. All right. Good. It was Ankara, right? Right. It, right. Ankara, sure. you, you just healed Sark, right? Hmm? You, right? Do you agree? Uh, yeah. Good, good. Because uh, I like didn't, I wasn't listening to this conversation yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I wouldn't want to have to thank you. And like Sarek like gives you a like a like a mm, okay kind of look at you and then just storms off. <clears throat> on a on a scale from zero to maximum, what how <laughs> what was the the amount that I have to touch you for? Uh, four. What it was? Yeah, four. Just a, okay. Yep. So a nice gentle touch. Right, and I felt that. I felt the kindness and the gentleness of that touch. Yeah, like a kiss. Like a sweet kiss. Yep. For four. <laughs> a fleeting kiss. Yep. Leaving you <laughs> desiring more. Yep. Get a room. <laughs> I feel How like. What are you talking? Like what? What's the problem? I get a sense yeah, of this interaction. The... It makes me what? happy. I'm like, oh, thank God they're getting along. All right. Yeah. So the room is clear now. You you hear like um the 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 whispering from downstairs has stopped. That should be bad, right? Everybody roll perception checks. That seems yeah. bad. <laughs> All because Sarek couldn't shut the fuck up. Well, uh, I don't know if that's the reason, really. I'm distracted by Sarek's eyes. Oh, Thank yes. You. I'm distracted by my eyes quite often as well. Pippin so. dropped what is it, Steven? armor down the, the well. This is like that moment. Full of a... Oh. And <laughs> Says Aya to Sarek. <laughs> And Kara's just like on the ball. And Kara has a, like a legitimately incredible perception. Her passive perception is 15. Oh, I rolled initiative. <laughs> you did roll yeah. initiative. That's a very good initiative, Aya, but I don't need that. 
Jesse, my Twitter handle's on top of my face. I don't know how it got there. I'm trying to figure it out. (laughs) (laughs) I'm literally, that's, if you're wondering what's happening right now, I'm literally trying to figure out how you just have that on your. Dunking on me in game is fine. (laughs) Not OBS. I don't know how that got there. I don't know. I don't know. Has it been there the entire time? I don't know. I'm trying to delete it. I'm sorry. (laughs) That was not part of our contract. Oh my God. Nice. Uh, Sarek, I'm gonna I've roll. I'm gonna roll perception. The only way you, Eric will agree to be on a show is if his Twitter handle <laughs> is on my. Face. Sarek, you got a you got a five on your perception check. Look, I know my brain. Okay. <laughs> oh, All right, wow. here's what happens. Oh, oh, I need to roll perception. I already rolled for you, Sarek. Eh, you got nope, a five. I roll, no, I, 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 I you are too late, I, sucker. No, oh, come on, that's a solid roll. <laughs> All right, so here's what happens. Still You're all there. like arguing and like Kairos and Sarek are having like a precious moment and then you all sort of like notice that uh, there's no whispering coming from downstairs. And uh, like there's this moment I think where like Ankara just like looks exasperatedly at the camera and then she looks back to make eye contact with the jailer who's standing right over Sarek with his massive iron rebar raised overhead and then it comes down with the force of a thousand suns. Um, Ooh, yeah, that 15 hits. Okay, good. So that's, uh, uh-huh, yes. Rude. 10 damage, Sarek. On me? I yeah, didn't, yes. What? I... <laughs> I want chat. I want the world to understand. I rolled 21 and all that, and he took it from me. He took it he from me because I, I put a Twitter handle over a man's face. <laughs> and they got to take it from me. Oh, that's uh, when I see this happen. There is no like moment of hesitation. I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, each of you roll initiative again, please. Oh boy. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Shenanigans. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay. It's not my webcam chat. It's, how how could is, it be your not... webcam? How would you have that? That that would be an interesting overlay to like build it's, into your webcam. Yeah. Just, yeah. It, that means it's mirrored on my lens. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually on there. It's actually taped Tiny like stickers. <laughs> yeah, Listen, yes. Eric takes clout very seriously. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sarek, you like, managed to respond as soon as this iron rebar crushes into your right scapula. What do you do? Uh, Sarek sort of falls back to the opposite end of this entire room uh, to get away from this dude. Are you taking the disengage action? Um, I don't want to disengage. I just want to, like, go back before I shoot him. Here's the deal. If you want to move away from a creature that's engaged with you, Mm -hmm. if you move away, you risk provoking an attack of opportunity. That costs the creature its reaction, so it won't be able to use any other reactions, but it's a thing that can happen. Uh, If you want not to get an attack of opportunity, you have to take the disengage action, which uses your action, and then you can't shoot with your bow, for example. Stay. Uh, I I call out to Sarek, uh, if I can, as if, you know, if it's not my turn, it's like, Follow my lead. I'm gonna like impose an, a maximum number of words say, on you. I say, follow, I, I say follow my lead. Uh, Jesse, if you stay there and ready an action for me to strike, then I'm within five feet, and then you can sneak attack. And if I'm within five feet, next turn I can do my protection thing on you. All right, now you've used up your maximum. Yeah, I know. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Oh god, like Sarek realizes he has to put his trust in another person, which is just awful. Unheard of. And and like looks back and it's like, you better not screw me, and just like <laughs> sticks around and, and I'll I'll try and stab him with my rapier. Are you taking that's not what I said. <laughs> are you stabbing him now or are you taking the ready action until to wait until Kairos? Oh ready. Is- oh god. Oh god damn it. Oh it's gross. Oh, it's so oh, gross. This sucks. <laughs> oh god. Okay, yes. I I ready. All right, cool. Uh also a uh, no no mo four in chat is reminding you about cunning action, but let's save that for later. You ready in action to make an attack when Kairos is in range? Cool. I uh you're up next, followed by Kairos. What do you do, Aya? Um, I'm going to 
let's see hex is a bonus action right yeah so i'm going to cast hex on the jailer nice and then um hit him with eldritch blast all right i uh, what ability check are you put imposing a disadvantage on and uh chat for example a number of folks uh tweeted at me and and us i think to remind us that ability checks and saving throws are different so uh, I was giving uh, my party a little bit of an easier time than they otherwise would have. No, it fight. was very hard, and the internet just doesn't <laughs> understand. What skill? So we're on like a different skill level, and they are so much lower. Dexterity. Dexterity is fine. Yeah. All right, cool. And then um, with the hex marked on him, then I'll launch an Aldrich Blast at him. Cool. 24, nailed him for five damage. And then that should trigger the D6 necrotic damage. Yes. Oh, wow. damn, I got a full damn. Damage, so 11. Making up a little bit for that uh, lower than usual Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, Kairos, it's your turn, followed by Ankara, but I think we're gonna have Asarek interjecting himself in there. Yeah. So move up 10 feet and uh, stab with my Javelin. Cool. Roll your damage. Twenty-four is fine. And Four. I say now as I as I thrust. So that should be Sarek. Yeah, you get to make your attack, Sarek. Oh! 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 oh. Shit! All right. Oh. <laughs> is so, that a hang crit? on? Is that a crit? Sarek, that that is a crit. And what happens when you crit is you double all of the dice that you roll, which means that on top of this you're adding two d six. So I am going to do this plus a 2d6. Yes, because it, you get your sneak attack bonus because Kairos is within that, oh, that's d26, a d26, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, sorry, uh, because Kairos is within five feet of, of your enemy. Um, yeah, fantastic. So you've I was got so 14, impressed. Nine, I was 14 like, points. did I just do 18 damage? <laughs> so dumb. All right. Well, Sarek, for all the shit that you are giving everybody else and that everybody else is also giving you, you have been dealing all the death blows this time around. What what does it look like when you slay this this jailer? Oh, he's whispering to you. We know exactly what to do with little snots like you. Yeah, uh, Sarek sort of braces and is terrified that he put his trust in Totem Pole, and then as as Kairos comes over and they both like do like a like a stab out kind of like power move together and it's sort of like a uh uh in Chrono Bash Trigger Bros. in Chrono Trigger they do the X cross like yeah kind of thing yeah yeah and they just like wreck this dude and he goes like oh and then he explodes yeah 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 it's that thing where there's like the line of fire through him and then like he explodes afterwards right yeah, yeah. the anime thing yeah he, yeah like, looks down is like oh <laughs> yeah perfect fantastic all right, well done. Uh, yeah, you've you've destroyed this guy. Uh, hang on, y'all get. Uh, I also, I want the record to show that Jesse in that description called me by my name and not Totem Pole. Yeah, oh. no, no. I want everyone to know there's a respect forming. I've been saved not once but twice. There could be a thrice. I don't know what's gonna happen this episode. <laughs> yeah, Sarah gives like Kairos like a little like. All right. Okay. A nod. All right. The begrudging respect nod. All right, yeah, you you earn six gold pieces total as a result of slaying these two foes. Good job. Uh, I guess um, just split it twosies yeah. for everyone. Yeah. Sarek, you look pretty winded, right, and cut up. I have two HP left. I am right, so a little bit more. Than, rather, than rather, <laughs> I'm uh, yeah, yeah, I'm winded. Who? Right. No. What a fight. Do we uh do we think we have some sort of healing for, for Sarek? Yeah, I was gonna cast healing wounds on him. Uh uh you could also take a short rest. Oh yeah, we could take a short rest. If we short rest, do they re that's long rest. Okay. Good. I would do a hit dice roll. Is that what would happen? Yeah, you could spend hit dice on a short rest. That would also give Aya one of her spell slots back. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. I'll save healing word for when we're fighting. Yo, ho, ho. I'll take it. Bad guy. Nice, nice. 
And uh, Sarek, you can actually spend as many hit dice as you want up to your maximum. So if I only you wanted have one, to spend, so you have two actually oh. because you're level two now. Oh. Can yeah. I uh, can I use my tobacco during a short rest? Yes. Awesome. So while we're, while we're sitting down here, uh, resting in the room, um, I tell a story about uh, about Sarah. How what Sarah reminds me of? Nice. All right. Oh gosh. And uh, and I say, you know, Sarah, as I got like the pipe in my mouth. Hold on, let me get a pen so it's more accurate. <laughs> you know, Sarah, you remind me of a friend of mine from the Legion back at the Battle of uh, the Siege of Stone Kettle. His name was uh, Pinch. And, uh, well, I mean, we called him that because his body odor was a little weird, but uh, always had like a, he was always able to get something in a pinch as well. Uh, and uh, you know what? You pulled through here, just how Pinch did. Uh, Sarek looks at you and then he goes, I'm nothing like an orc. Pinch was a gnome, but that's fine. I'm nothing like a gnome either. I'm nothing like anyone you know. I'm me. Well. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, sorry. Well, you are you. That's damn right. Whatever you are. Good job. Sorry. Puff out that smoke. (laughs) Nice. Make sure you you post-process the video with smoke Mm, off that pen. It looks like a ship. Like a ship sailing through the ocean of smoke. Mm-hmm. So, uh, are you sharing this tobacco, Kairos, with whoever might want some? I would offer it to Sarek mm-hmm. since we're since we're talking. But uh, if Sarek's not interested, I'd totally look to uh, definitely look to Ankara. Maybe, maybe Aya. I don't know. Yet. Aya doesn't smoke. Sure, that's fair. Ankara doesn't smoke tobacco. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> The dark void is the only drug I need. Exactly. <laughs> All right. But thank you. Sure. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Kairos, of course, you should mark inspiration. I will. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Sark, do you do you partake? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. I don't, I, are you not gonna, even are begrudgingly. You t- I just take it. Yeah. Are you going to uh, <laughs> tell a tale from your take past? Take a deep breath and cough. Um... Not too, I, not too hard. Not too hard. This stuff is potent. Do I need to tell a tale of my past? Do I have to? Yes, you if, must. If you don't have to, but if you want to earn inspiration, you do. Thou must. That's the trigger. When you smoke tobacco or share fine fine liquors or other luxuries uh, over a short rest, if you share a tale from your past, then you may mark inspiration. Um. Yeah, yeah. Sarek Sarek uh, looks around at the 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 room they're in and uh, sort of sighs and sits down on one of the, the chairs he knocked over. And it's just like, you know, this isn't the first time I've been to this castle. My, uh, my family traveled here quite often before this whole end of days thing. But um, it was in a different time and different place when things were easier but the rulers of this kingdom have not been fair to my family and well that's why I'm from a new kingdom and he like sort of looks at everyone and just like puffs and then just looks around the room and shuts up you look so cool I do not no Sarek coughs (laughs) Sarek coughs and just is like he goes a little too hard. Even though, even though <laughs> Kairos is like, don't do that. Sarek's just like, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, awesome. Sarek, go ahead and mark inspiration on your character sheet. And of course, uh, inspiration lets you, you spend it in order to gain advantage on any one d20 roll. Um, and I let you do that after you see the results of your first roll. You can be like, uh, can I use oh. inspiration on that? And I'm like, yeah, sure, fine. You're generous. You're a generous cool that way. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Yeah, so, you know, 10 minutes pass. I, uh, you regain your, your spent spell slots. Um, Jesse, you gain, uh, what, 11 hit points back? Yeah, yeah I'm, at, I'm at max. 
We in a good world right good. now. Yeah. Cool. So, where to now? Uh, Sarah, did you still want to go to the courtyard? No, let's do this damn slime thing. You seem to know what you're doing. Very well. Let's move out. Sir begrudgingly yeah. follows you, but like, not in a vocal way, but just like gets up and does it because so far you've been right. Mm -hmm. So All frustrating. Right. So the marching order is what? Kairos, Sarek, and Kara Aya? Yeah, sure. Cool. All right. Yes. Kairos, you go descending down these uh, stairs. And uh, of course, very swiftly, um, it, it becomes quite dark as you descend these spiral stairs down towards the jail area. Um, okay. Who is who is producing any sort of light? Uh, I can cast Produce Flame. Cool. I have dark vision. So What's the I. radius on Produce Flame? I don't think it's super far. Um, it's probably like light like a candle in your hand. Yeah, I think it's like 10 feet or something. Uh, click the spell so that you put it in chat. I think it, yeah, that, I'm doing that, that right shows now. a description. Mm, 10 foot radius and dim light for an additional 10 feet. Yeah, it's like a so candle. Let's, uh, let's do that. Are you 1, 10, or 2, 10? Those colors do not wait. That's just 10 total. 20. There we go. So that's like as far as your light is extending, Ankara. Okay. Um, Fantastic. Okay, so you come down the curve of these stone spiral staircases into the jail area, which is, um, it's it's pitch black. It's just incredibly dark, except for the dim five feet of light around the low burning brazier in the center of the room. Same brazier that y'all saw upstairs, by the way, rickety, spindly uh, iron legs, um, you know, low burning coals on it. Smells like rot and awful and burnt hair and flesh in here. There's an empty jail cell in the back of the room, a handful of torture racks along the walls. Uh, and the wall to your left has a dark, slimy-looking hole in the stone sloping down towards the ooze pits. Of course, the jailer is not here. Neither, of course, is the prisoner that you uh, so generously freed without even asking for payment. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Stephen. This is the hole where you're supposed to give things to the ooze, right? Like I would know that. Yeah, down yeah. down this slimy right. hole. That's that's yeah. where the ooze pits right. is, and that's where the right. oozes are waiting for you to give well, them. Yeah. Well, the oozes are next, waiting for us. I believe this. And I kind of gesture to the slimy hole. I mean, like, this is where we go. Uh, well, let's see what All it right, wants. All right, ooze whisperer. Lead the way. All right. Uh, I guess I'm going to cautiously um, go down to the ooze and, um, or at least um, get as close as I can until I start hear it, uh, hearing it whisper or talk, right? Yeah. Until it's an audible range and trying to get an idea. I want to ascertain what it wants immediately. Yeah, I think you, you hear the wet mud noises from around the yeah. corner as you make your way. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Perfect. And you yes. smell the, the so iron good. tang of the blood oozes waft past your nose. Mm -hmm. uh, you turn the corner and you see, um, uh, let's see, hang on. It's map time. Yeah, so you're, you're entering from the north wall. Mm -hmm. In the center of the room, there's a set of blood oozes down in a low pit surrounding a large blood ooze with three long eye stalks that are peering up. And as you round the corner, its eye stalks sort of rotate around each other until it's looking in your direction. It forms a mouth in the center of itself and slimily says, hungry. There's a handful of objects resting in the pit, a set of scintillating red vials, a scroll case, a lantern, and a coil of rope. Along the outer walls of the room are prisoners hung upside down all on the along the walls with pale waxy skin on the south wall far away from you beyond the ooze pit um that's where you you had previously seen this faint blue glow sparkling there that is now gone however above it you can see um uh, a yawning hole in the ceiling opening into a space above 
if you remember, you may recall that this space opens into the guard room that's on the opposite side of the portcullis area. Mm -hmm. um, on the west wall uh, to your right, there's a large flat obsidian panel resting flush with the wall, roughly the size of a large door. It's smooth and featureless, but there's a strange depth to the color of the glass. Hmm. Okay, so it's just saying hungry. It's yes. not saying anything else. Yeah, it, it turns to you and it says hungry. Yeah. Uh, let's see. If I think I have rope. Mm, I don't have rope. I do have rope. I do have rope. I have 50 feet of rope. Um, I'm going to kind of do like a toss up, you know, last, not like lasso it, but like get it ready to run so I can cast the rope uh, to, to the ooze. So it like can grab an end of the ooze and see if it wants to eat it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so, so maybe like it starts kind of in front of it. And then maybe like I kind of start bringing it back, and then it's like blah. Then maybe it hops on it, kind of like bait, like if I was fly fishing. So you're, you're trying to like use this rope to like entice this ooze closer. Uh, yeah, I want to see if it wants to consume the rope. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you toss the rope forwards, um, and it 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 looks down at hungry. Yeah, it it looks down at the the rope and says, um, like its eye stalks like slowly rise back to fix in your direction it says already have and it like reaches out a pseudopod and like lovingly caresses the pile of rope that's next to it leaving like a slime of blood ooze on the surface of the rope bring so it that to mm. okay so it doesn't want so it doesn't want that rope hmm well and it has vials Yes, what is it? scintillating what? red vials. It, ha it has vials. It has yes. rope. It has a lantern. Yes. And it has something else, right? Scroll case. A scroll case. Do we don't have... Okay. Um, but we don't have any books or anything like that. Okay. Mm, we have nothing to trade for it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to the party. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them what I see. Are they like immediately uh, behind you? Right. Oh, perfect. If they're immediately behind me, I, so then I, I'll just I'll just turn behind me and be like, does anybody have any books or anything anything shiny we could give the the ooze? Wait here. I'm gonna walk down to the ooze and I'm gonna telepathically communicate with it. Awesome. You just like walk up to the edge of the ooze pit. Mm -hmm. Sweet. What do you and say? I ask him. I say, great and powerful blood ooze. I've come to barter with you. What is it your heart desires, sir? Hello, puny human. Weak and small and insignificant. Short-lived and worthless pirate. Oh, okay, God. chill. All right. <laughs> I didn't comment on the smell. You don't need to comment on the puniness. <clears throat> what is, what it? is it you need? What... The, what you have there. What great thing do you offer, Moldve? <laughs> Is that his name? Do I know Moldve? That, that's what he seems yeah. to be referring to himself as. <laughs> Moldve is one of the designers of D&D. &D, yes. <laughs> for those in chat wondering. Hmm. Great Moldve, you already possess so many things. What is it that a puny human such as I could offer you? What is it, what is it that you seek? <laughs> Hungry. Give food. Give food. Like produce or? Yes, like produce. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I come back up through the slime pit and I reach out to Ankara and I say, do you have any more rations? Uh, I, I don't think I have any more. No, I, have I have some. I need to if, ask more. It, can I, am I hearing this conversation? Because if, yeah. if, it, if I so. It in front of yeah, I'm out. I'll right. get some next time we're on the moon. Yeah. Uh, I give you some... Um, uh, I don't know, but whatever, like granola meat thing. Okay. 
I take it from you and I go back and offer it to the great mold today. Yeah, awesome. Um, are you just holding it out in your hand? How do you offer oh, it? Oh, heck no. I don't want that thing to touch me. I uh, lay it down <laughs> before it. Nice. Like dropping it down in the pit. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Uh, it it slimes its way forwards and like reaches out a pseudopod to push aside the other blood blood oozes. Mm -hmm. They all sort of like slime around. It slimes forwards. What is it that you that you've given him? Rations? Gr granola? Yeah, yeah, like, what? Uh pemmican. Granola. You know what pemmican is? No. It's like it's like it's a like a dried meat corn meal. Okay, cool. Thing. Yeah. Okay. It uh it slimes forwards and like plasters a, a fat heavy pseudopod on top of this pemmican and then absorbs it into its body. And then it it makes a uh like it looks self-satisfied, like its its mouth orifice sort of smiles a little bit. It, it extrudes a fourth eyeball that's sort of smiling and says, Yes, like that, like produce. <laughs> I look at uh all right uh so I I I show everyone my bag so I'm, I'm an open book here uh I have four more things of rations mm. um I don't propose how many to give but right. like this right. is all I got what well we I'm gonna try to get away with as limited as I can I see you are satisfied sir can I uh now uh, receive from you thy boon <laughs> Uh, Moldvay gives you his blessing. <laughs> the blessing's great, and I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm not going to try to look a gift horse in the mouth. Moldvay is not a horse. Do you right? have a horse? <laughs> no, I don't. And if I Produce did, horse. You know, <laughs> I would definitely feed him to you. Give um, horse. <laughs> Okay, wait, no, I don't have one. <laughs> if I had a horse, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, what? I've, I gave you produce, yummy. Mmm, so good. Then you give me those th that scroll case and mmm, yummy. Scroll I case. Mold they happy. He like oh, slimes right. his pseudopod on top of the scroll case. It's like mahogany or something like that. Now there's just like a big slick sheen of blood ooze on top of it. You desire this yes mm. <laughs> he's like laughing like uproariously those of you who are like watching this conversation from the outside outside just like see the ooze just start sort of like bubbling like as if he's like made out of champagne or something like that he says no give heavy 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 Heavy. Okay, stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around where the rest of the party is standing there waiting, and I'm like, we need, I need something heavy. Basically, yeah. <laughs> something really heavy. All right. Uh, uh, there's those barrels. Let's give Sarek's backstory. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's pretty deep, you. Um, no, I don't. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Uh, is there any? The barrels that were upstairs are literally up like several flights of stairs. But we could knock but it over and just roll it down the stairs, right? Just throw it down there. And we have a shortcut. <laughs> Because we can go from the other side and then just roll it into that hole. Like if all of us pushed it over together, maybe. We oh, that's really roll smart. Roll it down. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This might be a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might. It probably is. <laughs> well, there was like, let's see. Where, like, this is a, this is like kind of a castle wall. Are there any cannons? In You'd probably be able to find cannon like up on top of the wall. You're a monster. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, there was something really heavy at the top of the stairs. <clears throat> That's true. What is the slime? Is the slime 
able and of the disposition to move to find the heavy thing. I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> he is as wonderful and wise as he is. He's also a giant flat fat lazy ooze who sits around and eats all day. I don't think he's going to move anywhere. If we want to get past the zoos, we better give it what it wants rather than it going where it wants to go. But what? what? Where are these barrels? I, mean, I think I know where the barrels are, but. Oh, God. Okay. We have to go back up to the we... Just be aware. We have to go back up to one room where there are several guards to fight. Oh, right. No, we can, them, no, we can avoid it... them. No, Remember, because no matter what. That other door. No matter what, we go through the other door. Then we go all the way up to the other room where there are guards to fight that then lead us to the to the room where we fought the man and the, the steampunk man. Oh, yeah. There's only one set of guards. There's the guards in the oil room, and then there's yeah. the chain room. Chain yeah, room doesn't have we, can go there. we can go there oh, directly. Oh, you're right. I thought there was another set of guards. Mm -hmm. mm. Or we could go back where that <laughs> hatch is outside and see if there's something up there. That's true. Mm. We have not gone further. Yeah, there's no way to get to the, the control room without finding those guards, right? So if you go upstairs out of the ooze pit into the jail yeah. room and then upstairs from the jail room into the guard room and then upstairs from that guard room into the oil room, there are guards there. But if you go down through the portcullis, up the other side, there's no one there because I distracted all of them and brought them to us. They're all dead. You're welcome, everyone. Uh, I don't remember that part of it, but there is nobody there. <laughs> it wasn't a tantrum that he threw, but a strategic uh, luring <laughs> of, of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then, you know what? I what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start actually drawing a literal map on a piece of paper. Okay, well, I, let's go. Yeah, no, I, let, let, let's follow. Let's follow this way. As I, I'm gonna start retconning the the map as we go. So let's do this. You you try, but then uh, Sark produces already a map in his journal that is flawless. And mm. is it like isometric, like oh, sketched yeah. out isometric view? Mm, it yeah. is. It is like that like 2.5D view looking down. Oh, yeah. it's great. Yeah. Uh, and it looks amazing, except you notice that there are no people or enemies or anything there, but the walls and the, like, the detail on the dragon mat, like the dragon thing with the eyes and, oh yeah. And it even has little slots where paper, you move it back and forth and it represents the eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. It's an incredible journal. Are there just like pages and pages in that sketchbook of you, like little stick figure versions of you, like defeating monsters? <laughs> yes. But, but... Strangely enough, they're getting a little bit better. They're not. They actually have hands, and uh, they have feet now, which is things are things are happening. And they look like they're wearing little circles armor. for hands, little ovals for feet. Yeah, it's like stick figures. They look like they have armor. Like he's actually adding detail. Things are happening. He's improving. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, yeah. what's the plan? Well, I, I say we go back down to the call this. Go back up and. Find barrels? I mean, if we're rolling the barrel anyway, maybe we could drop some oil off with Tim. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my no, main motivation. We, we, we can't drop oil off to Tim. Tim is in the room with the guys we're specifically avoiding. Could just, you know, murderize. Just, 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 murder, just want to murder this ooze. Oh. God. But we have to we to go kill everyone upstairs first. I just, Otherwise, uh, they'll drop oozes on us. How did I become the non-violent one? <laughs> All right. So from our starting room, we went downstairs into jail. And then from, yes. the stair from the jail room, we went downstairs. Now we're looking at this ooze room. We're kind of like in between those two places in that liminal staircase space right now. Um, there's no other exits from the jail room, as far as we know. Correct. But if we go back to the jail room and then back to their starting room, the room with the dragon head, we can do the uh, Konami code into the dragon head and then go into the oil room. Yes. Um, and then I, the oil room has stairs going up or down from there. Oh, no, that, sorry. There's no stairs in the oil it room. It goes to the, no. to the chain room. It's a ladder. It's, it's also worth... Oh, the same level? 
that uh, there is a hole in the ceiling at the back of the ooze room that leads directly into the guard room on the other side of the portcullis area. Is the portcullis area the starting room? No, so in the, in the center. I'm literally like making an abstract map on a piece of paper. So yeah, like I'm in, the, in the center of the Barbican is a, a passageway that leads under the Barbican itself. And that's the portcullis area. That's where the two portcullises close down uh, at each end and where there was a, a door on the right, which you all were able to open and a door on the left, which was barred. Right. The door on the left leads to another guard room, which sits over top of this very same ooze chamber and who connects to the ooze chamber via the hole in the ceiling at the back of the ooze chamber. Right. Upstairs from that guard room is the chain room where once uh, on a fated session of yore, you found Tim, the solar demon. There are no enemies in the chain room, and the chain room leads directly to the wheelhouse, wherein rests all of those heavy barrels of oil. Right, and the wheelhouse has controls to the portcullis, I guess, because it's a wheelhouse? Yes. Yep. So in order to open the portcullis, we need to get to the wheelhouse. We already, well, already opened. Open it's open. Oh, they're, that's, what okay, happens, that's what happens when you're a winner and you don't die three times. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's. I must have lost some of my memory in all those times coming back. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I still don't know the, the plan is, group. What do you want to do? If the objective is to get up to the wheelhouse and get a heavy barrel of oil, that's fairly easy. Well, that's my objective. I don't know what the hell everyone else is trying yeah. to do. I think that's the plan. I think we're going to do that and grab the grab the oil and bring it back to Thuz. Awesome. Now, tell me, group... Are y'all going to like spend some rope and climb a rope up to the up through the hole in the ceiling? Or are you going to go all the way back up out through the door and across? Do we know if that do we know that that room's not going to be occupied, right? It wasn't occupied last time. Oh god damn it. Let's, let's do the rope. <laughs> be fun. No, let's right. go around. Let's go around. We got time. Let's do this. Let's just go around. I don't I don't I look at Sarah. I don't I don't trust our climbing skills. Let's go. Let's go around. Uh, I'll have you know it was my climbing skills that got us one of the tiers. So, right, that's what you missed you, out on. It was also your climbing skills that killed that boss. That's Kara, very you're true. A, you're a shapeshifter, are you not? Yeah. Yep. Could you? Do you have the skills to possess to crawl into a spider or something that could climb? Oh, Perhaps like you could climb your mule. way in there. Like a big pack mule, and then we'll put the barrels on your back. Like a horse. <laughs> Like a horse, yes, like a horse. <laughs> I mean, I can get up no, there, but what about, about horses guys? right now? Okay. What about you guys? I can go up there, but if I'm a little spider, I can't get the barrel. And you couldn't warn us if we're thinking oh. perhaps you could scout for us if we wanted yes. to be very safe. Yeah, I can otherwise out. we could just go. No, nah, you know what? Let me let me use this opportunity to protect us if there's anything that goes bad. We should all go together. Let's let's walk up there. Save your skills okay. for a strong fight to come. Good. Okay. Let's go. Enough enough dilly dallying. We have. Yeah. We have... Let's get up there. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, so, uh, so 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 uh, totem pole leads them back up the 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 slimy tunnel into the jail cell, up the spiral staircase that leads up into the guard room. Uh, where the uh, Sunfire Brazier is, down the stairs to the door leading to the portcullis area with sun shining under it. You throw open the door, the portcullises to your left and right are raised and open. You cross the way, push open the door into the uh, guard room on the opposite side, step in, and of course in this guard room, I may remind you, you see a number of things. In the south end of the floor, there's a large hole in the floor that smells like dampened iron, which leads 30 feet down to the ooze pits below. In the center of the room, there's a handful of cots arrayed in rows. And uh, on the north wall is a large stone fireplace with a draconic head carved over the mantel, glittering eyes, open mouth, dirty fangs, which is swung open to reveal a spiral staircase behind it. What do you do? Okay, let's... Right. Go back up and get the barrels, yes? Right. Okay. You proceed up the spiral staircase, exiting out into the chain room, which I may remind you has lots of chains dangling all over the place. In the back of the room, there is a ladder that uh, leads up to the wheelhouse. Have we... 
Sarek pulls a chain. Yes. Is that a euphemism? No, Sarek just pulls a chain. Have we ever pulled any of the chains? See what um, roll a d20, Sarek. Well, just... that's what opened the, the, the gate. No. Got I think it. you pulled on them when we first went in there to like test them, but mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. Uh Nothing happens, Jesse. Okay. Yeah, I, I I knew I climbed up some, but like we never just started pulling yeah. chains. Like we, I don't know, it's a weird. It's visually it looks awesome, but like if I own a palace, why would I have a room of chains? Just why? a lot of questions. Uh, would you like to make a perception there, check right? for me, Jesse? Sure. Why why a room of chains? 17, yeah. Um, very clearly, you can see that some of these chains run like parallel to the ceiling and are coming out of the wall and intersecting into the other wall. Um, and like some of these are like looped around like mechanisms on the on the bars and beams and stuff. Um, it's obvious that this is an extension of the chain mechanism that controls the portcullises. Uh, and it sort of acts as like, um, like a, a diversion or like a... a almost like a gear shaft, right? That's like controlling which of the portcullises is being opened and shut. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. They so play it's, not, it's not just like random chain storage room. It actually yeah, that's is. Why I was like, wait, it's just like, this is where we hang the chains. Like, I, I didn't <laughs> yeah. Know. Don't kink shame. Some people <laughs> like, you need, some chain. you need a chain room. Just like a lot of chains. Do you hit people with them? You can bondage people with them. You can suspend people with them. Do I need you can to rub the, You can rub the chains butt. on your butt. Who knows whatever you're into. The hard so feel of them up in, up curved there metal. You wanted to. Chain options. All right. Who's climbing the ladder? Um, uh, I will. I'll lead the charge. Okay. God bless. I was going to be like, this will be easy. I'll go. But no, by all means. By nice. all means. You climb the ladder and make your way up into the wheelhouse. You see this open doorway in front of you uh, leading into this large portcullis control room. Uh, and of course, um, the wall of fog, which blocked the doorway previously, is gone. You can now see through the doorway easily. Ooh. -oh. Okay. And there's nothing... Something particularly. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna go in. Nice. Yeah. Um, you don't hear anything. You don't smell anything. See anything? It it looks empty. I'm on. Okay. I'm I know. I'm just I'm just waiting for the moment to be like, and the whole room collapses and you're dead. Uh, you wake up in the in the place of the moon. Um, I'm okay. cruel, but only along certain predictable <laughs> axes. Yeah. Right. Uh, you punish us only for our ignorance. Not for yes. Failure. Yes. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna go grab the first barrel. Okay. Yeah. And you you move over into this room that's on the left of the map yeah. where all these barrels are stacked up. Right. So uh, how do you how do you like wrestle this barrel, Kairos? Oh, well, obviously, I, I put away my shield and I put away my uh, my, my my javelins, and yeah. uh, I just grab the first barrel, like kind of like flexing in my breastplate with oh, my shoulder, and I say, "Do you think we only need one?" I need you to roll for or that. Or do we need two? I need you to roll yeah. for this. I need a roll. It's, it's definitely a strength check. I need to roll for this. Armrose is pretty buff. I need a roll. Um, I don't have uh, any. Athletics, actually. I know. I'm just trying to think if it's worth casting Bless for the extra D4 just to rub it in our faces here. Uh, no, that doesn't actually help. It doesn't help ability checks. That would be guidance. Um, so instead, I'm just going to do a strength check then. Nice. Holy shit. Yeah, uh, like, y'all are all sitting there, like, arms crossed, like, no, nope, Armros couldn't do it. No, nope, you're not going to do it. And Kairos just bends down, one arms one of these things up onto his shoulder. <laughs> like, it's all about the proper squat technique, all right? You got to go all the way down. Butt below the knees. That's the trick. Lift with yeah, the leg. Check. You got to hit the I, parallel. Armros skips leg day, all right? <laughs> He clearly must. Let's just, let's, that, that's canonical. Armrose oh, <laughs> classically skips leg day. Yeah, Sarek is impressed. Just very impressed. You did something yeah. that that Armrose could not do. Right. And it's impressive. 
So I'm gonna take both barrels if I can. Who knows? You might. I could roll this other barrel Donkey Kong style at an enemy. So I'll take. I'll keep uh, the other. I don't think you can realistically carry two barrels at once. Okay, um, I put the other one down. Then fine. Yeah. All right. Um, so All right. yeah, you can you can very easily get the barrel back over to the ladder. Right. Um, but getting this barrel up the ladder is going to be very difficult. Down the ladder. Down. Yeah. Sorry. Down the ladder. Uh, we have a rope though. Throw it. Um, we can, no, we're going to, we can use a rope system of, of making sure this thing doesn't collapse all the way down. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, perhaps, perhaps I should st stay up here with the rope holding with a, a rope lashed around the barrel as we let it down this way, in case we drop it, I could be the last person holding the rope. So it doesn't crash. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh I... yes, sure. This will work out great. <laughs> well, what do you want to do? Uh, alternatively, uh, Ankara, do you want to turn to like an anaconda and just like? I was gonna. I was just looking I was this way, wondering like, maybe two or like just swallow can... it. <laughs> <laughs> Dislocate your jaw, swallow the barrel, throw it up, it comes turn back into a human, get exploded by the barrel you swallowed. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, wait. We'll throw it up. Can I cast Entangle as sort of like a slide of vines, like cast it from the floor to like the top of the ladder so we can sort of like... You know what? Bring it down? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You know, wait, I, wait, I'm wait, actually, wait. here's what I'm gonna How let you do. How is this ladder uh, connected to the landing? Uh, it's bolted. It's an iron ladder that's bolted into the stone. Mm -hmm. I was gonna um, say, maybe we could just put it at an angle and roll it down. Yeah, and Kara, a giant constrictor snake is too high of a challenge rating for you yeah. to be able to come into. But, yeah. um, so like, this is an, an exceptional use of your entangle spell. So it's gonna take some uh, arcana skill in order to make it work. Okay. Yes. Um, so what's, what's the level of this spell? It's a level one spell, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say that this is like, um, it's a DC 11 arcana test to like manipulate the spell so that it will do what you want it to, to like provide okay. some resistance, but not, you know, not, ha -ha. not be on the floor or anything. Awesome. So you, as you're casting the spell, what does it look like when you're manipulating the flows of magic in order to um, make While well, they're trying to decide whether I should turn into a snake or not, I just climb down the ladder and <laughs> um, start casting it. So it's kind of coming out from the center of the ladder and go yeah. to the top and sort of like creeping around the edge and latching on and latching onto the floor. And then I'm like, okay, slide it down. Awesome. Uh, or, should, or, or we could just do do that. Should we be down at the bottom to try and stop it? It's going to roll, and uh, I'd rather it not roll into Tim, right? For Tim's sake. <laughs> yeah, or uh, there's chains down there too, right, Stephen? Yep. Would we be able to like use the chains to create some sort of like catch catching device? Yeah, like you could like tie some chains onto the ladder so there's like Yeah. Is the is there a slot above the ooze in in the ooze room from here? So like is this looking is the chain room looking over the ooze like directly? Not the like, chain room, like no. the room next to it. All right, cuz this is the guards room next to the chain room. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Okay. So there's not like we couldn't just drop this thing on the ooze. Okay. No, you could not. All right. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Um who so Inkara is focusing on manipulating this spell. Does it, who wants to be in charge of like setting up the, the chain related catching mechanism? Uh Sarek will do it because I you know I'm good with these chains. I got these yeah. chains. Give me a sleight of hand roll, Sarek. A sleight of hand roll? Oh my lord. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, okay, Sarek. So like it takes you some time. So the the the, the folks are all all uh, uh, working on working on their various parts of things. Uh, seven. There we go. Yeah, minus one. Perfect. So after about ten minutes, everything is totally ready. The the uh, the the spell has been cast. The chains are set up. You're ready to like. If if you wanted to tie a rope, you can. Like you're fine. And then you can lower it down. Who's going to be in charge of like? pushing the barrel over the edge and, and guiding it down. Probably, probably Kairos, yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be me. All right, cool. 
Taros, give me an athletics check again to see if you're able to like soften the descent. <sighs> okay. Okay. It'd be fine. Oh okay. shit! All right, Kairos. <laughs> uh, no, no, I spend my inspiration. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, I take the sixteen instead. All right, you take the sixteen. So like, there's a moment of like everybody sees Kairos like lift this massively heavy barrel over the ladder, and then he just drops it. It shatters through the chains. It breaks through the branches. It sp- splashes oil everywhere. The chains spark as they break off of the iron ladder. Everything goes up in flames. Everybody's on fire running around. Kairos is like, no, not again. And then back to Kairos, muscling this thing slowly down over the ledge carefully so that it doesn't break. So I see it. I see it happening where it breaks and explodes. Yes. And, and I see the frayed part of the rope. And what I do is I, I reinforce the rope with the links of the chain of my friends that I have that were, that were transmuted into these chains. And I use that and hold the barrel with that on the knot instead of the rope. And that's what we do to get down And there. I have the heavy backstory. Break. You have chain <laughs> friends. You have yes. chain friends. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was sent to capture a wizard, and uh, they asked me, and it didn't turn out right. It didn't go well. Uh, it didn't go well at all. They asked me what I care most about, and I say it's, it, I care most about the bonds between my friends, and they took that as a literal joke and turned them into bonds. Oh, that's why you don't get wordy with it. Don't get wordy with stuff like that. I <laughs> that's, my that's, that's a monkey's paw. You got screwed, man. That sucks. It's all right. It happens. Awesome. All right, friends, you, you successfully and safely get this barrel down the ladder. Uh, but between here and the, the, like, you're able to, like, wrestle this barrel down the spiral staircase. It's a little awkward. It takes another 10 minutes to do it. But other than that, it's, like, fine. Um, now, now that you've gotten it down the spiral staircase, you stand in the, um, in the guard room that is directly above the ooze pit. So there's this hole in the corner. You could either carry this thing all the way across and then like down or whatever, uh, you know, via the stairs on the other side, or you could rig up some sort of system again to lower this 30 feet down the hole. Don't we have to Let's get just... rid of the guards that are there or? No, there's no guards. Let's so again, you're, you're in the middle of this room let me describe for you. Uh, you've come down out of this spiral staircase room. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, in, into this room where there's this handful of cots that are arrayed in rows in the center yeah. of the room. With the dragon uh, head. Yes, with the dragon head fireplace you just came out of. On the south floor, there's this large hole in the floor that leads down into the ooze pits. That's the one that you did the Mission Impossible style rescue of the... Uh, of I the, remember, I was there. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I know you were. I was just reminding the audience. I knew right, you were. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Um hmm. I I mean, we could in theory go do all this, right? I mean, well, Stephen, if I like turn into a giant spider could I like wrap my little spider legs around it and like lower myself? Don't spiders have webs? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could just create a web around it and drop it down. Totally. As a giant spider within your... Uh, That's what I'm looking up right within now. Within your purview. I believe it is. Giant spider, challenge rating one. Yeah. You can make webs. You can spider climb. Climb 30 feet. Okay. The answer is yes. I just turn into a spider without asking anyone. <laughs> Y'all, y'all like trying to debate, should we do that thing again or? Yeah, awesome. You just uh, kinda... And I just start uh, like putting webbing around the barrel. Awesome. Yeah, you web the barrel up and then you carry it down the wall. There's no problem. You're a giant fucking spider. You do yeah. this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I carry it down the wall and then what am I down? Do I get all the way down there? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh... I guess I just like push it towards the blood ooze. <laughs> Give him the rest of you come down. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna need help like moving it, I guess. I can bring it down. I don't know if I'm strong yeah. enough to push it. Yeah. 
I think we're there awesome. together. And we kind of have the scene of you uh, carrying that, that the, the heavy crate as far as you can. And then like all of a sudden, all our hands are on the crate and it goes like, or on, yeah, on, on this barrel, it goes thunk. And then we put it down in front of the ooze and the camera pans up over near this ooze, right? Yeah. yeah. Like There's like the Heavy. the three friends and then the giant spider with the fuzzy yeah. pedipalp like over behind nice. everybody. Yeah. Awesome. Aya, do you take the lead in negotiations with the ooze? Yes. Awesome. What do you say? Um, I put my hands out towards the barrel and I say, I present to you heavy. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. My favorite that's... produce. <laughs> he, he laughs. He says, oh, 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 yes, heavy, like horse, like horse, give, give heavy. And he like oozes forwards and it, it, it you know, ejects three pseudopods and wraps them around the, the barrel and pulls it forwards. And then like it smooshes down like straight onto his face. Blah. Then like his face just sort of like smooshes around it. And he starts carrying it backwards. And then one of the small blood oozes oozes forwards and picks up what what was it? It was the scroll case that you were asking for? Yeah. Yeah, the smaller ooze picks up the scroll case and like buoys it over in your direction up to the lip of this pit uh, okay. and like lifts it up in your direction. I take it. Excellent. You have a scroll case. And inside is... Oh, you thought there would be something inside of it. Zen. You open the scroll case and there is a an old delicate vellum scroll. It says, never going to give you up. <laughs> never going to let you down. <laughs> Seems to be some old a poem of some sort. <laughs> uh, a, love says, a love letter. It right. says, it's, a, it's a Rick says, scroll. No? A Rick huh. scroll. Yeah, Rick scrolled. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> How dare I show scroll. up on your stream? Rick scroll. Boo. Rick scroll. Boo this man. Boo. Oh. This has been great. Eat this man. Eat this man. Eat this man. <laughs> yeah. See, I watched last week's video, so that's that's um, that's good. That's good shit. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> By the bald Rick, the Rick scroll <laughs> famed. I love the idea that a bard named Rick is just <laughs> walking yeah. around, dropping off scrolls everywhere, singing to people who don't ask for it. Right, right. But his scrolls, if you, it, yeah, it's like an easy trap for people. It, it, it's you, you lay like a trap for them, and uh, well, that's it. He trades things with people, and he's like, "I'll give you this scroll." And yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just all things, and then they open it, and they're like, "God damn it, not again!" Yeah, that's you know, that's much better. It, it, it has no <laughs> powers, but he promises you power. Yeah. He's like, "This is a magical." Th when you read these words aloud, magic <laughs> powers will be bestowed on you. And they're like, "Oh, it's just a Rick scroll." Yeah, every <laughs> time, every time. <laughs> yes. There's like okay, warning. Cool. Posters up about it's him. A, yeah, it's just a magic mouth spell that shows boom, 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 every time. That's a great song, though. It is. It's, it is. It's a record song. show. That's a great song. Let the record show. Watch that music video. Everyone there's having a great time. Except That's for true. Rick Astley. Yeah. <laughs> that music video. Did you see his new commercial for uh, the Wreck-It Ralph movie? He's in it. Just like as himself? It's him because they like they used his song to like promote it. So it's like Ralph singing it and people keep sending it to him. And he's like, ugh. And then at the end of the day, he's finally like watching. He's like, it's, it's Can still I ask you a It still slaps. Is it animation though, it does. or is it just Rick Astley? Because that'd be so no, it's much just Rick. He's a guy, and then it's like the he holds his phone up, and you see like Ralph, like Wreck It Ralph, like dancing and singing. I I demand that it just be live action. Just that one scene be live action. Just like him at home. I imagine in his giant mansion, with like all of the his, end shots in a robot bed. 
Yes, you've bought me enough time. I thought that this was on uh, some interesting spell list, but I couldn't find it. So I was like, what the hell did I do here? Yeah, um, Kairos, you have no idea what's on the scroll. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, the four of you look at it together. Uh, it is legible to one of you. And Kara, <gasps> this is a scroll of flaming sphere. Ah. Which is a second level conjuration spell. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. I guess I'll tell everyone that. Cool. Awesome. This is a scroll of flaming sphere. Uh, what does that do for us? Does, well, you can cast the spell from the scroll. There are okay. specific uh, challenges to casting a spell of a level higher than the level you can currently cast. Yeah. Once you become able to cast level two spells, you can just open the scroll and cast it. Okay. Um, but of course, being a druid, you'll be able to cast Flaming Sphere anyway. So yeah, I like, was going to say, I can get it. You don't it have to prepare else. it, and you can still cast yeah. it if you want. Or yeah. you could cast it before you can cast level two spells with a, an ability check. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I guess I mean since I'm the only one who can read it is it like my spell or is it like yeah, yeah. Or? No, none of the others can actually process the runes that okay. are written on the page the, the magics encoded here don't make sense to their classes okay so it's if there me. was a wizard in the team they'd be able to read it too got it okay, okay. Um, let them know cool. extra power Steven does the ooze look satisfied oh yeah he's like manipulating his large mouth around this massive heavy barrel of oil. Nom, 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 nom. Cool. Yeah. Uh, um, we, how far away are we? Pardon me thinks you just tried casting flaming sphere on that barrel and the ooze. I was actually just going to cast produce flame and shoot it at the barrel. <laughs> That's what I was thinking yeah. too. You're probably, I was like, Let's kill this you're probably 20 feet away from this ooze. All right. Are we doing it? Yeah. I just oh, we're actually doing it. I okay. see, started to eat it, and I just produce flame and toss it at him. Okay. Um, <laughs> hang on. I I want to I want to give you information before you do this, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Like, That's never I, a good I, thing. <laughs> I don't want you to. I don't want you to like do just produce flame and then That's, like fail yeah. and have everybody die. That's Steven's um, brand of DMing where he says, "Are you sure about that?" Yeah. So here's the deal. Um, produce flame like fairly weak cantrip like. It would probably, it, it might set the wood on fire, but oh. it's definitely not guaranteed. Mm. If you used Flaming Sphere, I would 100% give this to you. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to definitely use it. Cool. So you just like open up the scroll case, see that it's Flaming Sphere, see that this thing is like eating a massive barrel of yeah, oil, like just immediately Flaming Sphere. Him. Yeah, before I even tell them what it is, so they don't know what is on the scroll. I'm just reading the scroll, and then I see him, so then I just cast it. Awesome. Okay. And I say, wait, that was my no. <laughs> yes. You you must make a DC 10 plus the spell's level um, spell casting ability check. So this okay. is a wisdom check, not a saving throw. Wisdom check? Yeah, not a wisdom saving throw, but a wisdom check. So it's 1d20 plus your wisdom. You need a 12 plus to successfully cast. If you do they, fail... Do they add their spell casting thing like they're proficient? Um, yeah, it's a spell casting check. So it's 1d20 plus three. Let's see. Plus, Hang your, on, let me, plus your wisdom plus your proficiency modifier is my let guess. Me read this, let me read this clearly. Oh, plus five. You must make an ability check using your spell casting modifier to determine whether you cast it successfully. Oh, no proficiency. I, I don't believe you get the proficiency bonus. Yeah. No. Okay, so it's just right. plus three. Yep. Okay. DC 12. And you don't smoke, so no inspiration. <laughs> Ah, sure. ah. <laughs> ah. Um, all right, here's, here's the deal. I, I like Damn this it. idea. I like this idea so much that I'm willing to give you the destruction if you want it, but everything else that's on the floor is going to make a DC 18 saving throw or be burned. Let's do it. If roll them. Roll them. Yeah. Uh, roll those dice. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do yeah. this. That's fine. Yep. All right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. You. Uh. You. You. You force the spell out of your head, and it, it's it's incredibly difficult. And a flaming sphere just materializes, centered in this creature's mouth, right on top of this massive barrel of oil. 
By the way, Chad, I'm ruling that I'm giving it to her. A, because I love a good scene of destruction. B, she's only <laughs> one point off. And I like giving people devil's bargains in order to let them succeed when they're really close. So here we are. This barrel, like, immediately just explodes. Get <laughs> like, there's, there's, no, there's no ooze left. They all just, like, get plastered ab- along the walls. There's, like, flaming oil gets sprayed everywhere. Um, the radius is probably 20 feet, so you're, you're all probably far enough away. Like, I told you, you were 20 feet away from this ooze. 20-foot radius. Wait, what's the radius on a fireball? Um, let's just take a look here. Oh, that's a good, good point. Yeah, let's, let's use rules. Let's pretend this is a fireball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 20 foot radius sphere centered on the point. Target takes 8d6 fire damage. That's a, so, okay. Roll 8d6. Awesome. 27 Ooh. points of damage to everything in the area. Um, uh, yeah. Roll 1d20 minus 3. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Um, so all of the lesser blood oozes die instantly. The greater blood ooze, however, does not. Ah. While it's Let's, okay, we have the are we initiative. Um, I want to. Well, we have to roll and see what happened. All the stuff on the ground. Or I'm dispatching it. Yeah, we, we, we do need to roll to see all the, what happened to all the stuff on the ground. Yeah, okay, let's see. Go overlay, wait. Yep, blood ooze. Yes. Uh, 27 is 28 is, um, what, 17? So 16 points, no, not 16. Are you telling us it's hit points? No, what, what's half of 27? I'm feeling terrible about this, 13. Oh, yeah. 13.5. Yeah. Uh, no, 13. 13. 13 rounded down. Well, you, round down. Needs, you always round you down. Always round down. Yeah. You always round down. It's true. All right. Cool. Token layer. Okay. Here's this guy. All right. So, uh, yeah, here's the deal. Major blood ooze didn't die. Everything else did. Um, what are y'all going to do? There's, a, there's an exit of this place, right? There is. Like immediately behind you. And immediately I mean, cross. Right. We have to get across this thing to well, get to the exit. Hold on. What's, should... what's the status of the stuff that's on the ground first? That's the most yep, important let's, thing. Let's roll. So, uh, Ankara, roll mm-hmm. a d20 plus your wisdom saving, plus your wisdom modifier for the uh, scintillating red vials. Ooh. Okay. The scintillating red vials were blown up in uh, an explosion. <laughs> Roll a d20 plus your wisdom modifier for the rope. Eh, who cares about the rope? No one wants the rope. Oh, come oh, on! The rope is fine. This, this is a rope. Actually, it's good rope. rope. It's a really strong rope. <laughs> All right, one more, once more, roll for the lantern. Okay. Oh, lanterns are dumb. We don't want that. <laughs> Boy, they're so the stupid. Lantern. Oops, sorry. I uh, fucked that up. Well, that's actually an 18 because it's a 15 plus three. Oh, yeah, you're right. Equals the lantern is fine. So, yeah. Oh, yay. We could use one of those. Yeah, we need that lantern. Who needs those yeah. vials? <laughs> yeah, who needs to heal when we have light? <laughs> yeah. Are we? Okay. Yeah, so are you lantern? running or do you want to try unleashing more. hell on this big blood ooze? Are we unleashing hell on the ooze or are we running? We got to get that that's, lantern. We got to get that lantern. That's not. That, I mean, he's already. Mean, let's do it. We already did this. Yeah. We didn't make any friends here. We got to get it. Also, right, I went from. It. No, that was mine to. Wow, that was really cool. <laughs> I probably. I. And I even say to her, I say, you know what? I had to talk to that asshole for like 15 minutes to get that scroll. But you know what? I'm not disappointed with how you used it. <laughs> I assume Hashtag. that when they see the explosion too, they look at me and I just go, it's a flaming sphere. <laughs> it's a flaming awesome. sphere spell. <laughs> this is worth. Yeah, everybody roll initiative. Let's oh do it up. Oh my god. We're all gonna die. Do I have this guy all statted out? I remember we did damage to him last time, but he is like vampiric as fuck. 
Yes, it did it's not go bodies. well for us last yeah. time. Yeah, he healed himself up. It's all right. So. It's okay. Valhalla, I am coming. Let's go. <laughs> all right, Look I'm Sarek. Excellent. All right, folks, here's the way it breaks down. Kairos with 20, Sarek with 18, Aya with 13, and Kara with 9, followed at last by the Big Bloodies with a 2. Kairos, what do you do? Uh, I charge forward, take the dodge action. Nice. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I actually cast Bless. I cast Bless, oh, nice. on, uh, I cast bless on the three of my friends. Um, wait, is that even better? Oh, shit. No, because then I'm, I'm going to charge and fight. I'm going to get shot with the... Ah, oh, why did I do this? I'm, I'm double thinking, uh, guessing myself. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, I cast Shield of Faith and then move in on myself. Give myself plus two AC as I move forward. Nice. And I like Fantastic. It, try to get its attention. Awesome. Sarek, your turn. You have sne uh, sneak attack. I was about to say, would you say that because he got blowed up like that, this counts as a sneak attack? I can jump in there and like, ga -ga -ga. I was going to say, <laughs> you get sneak attack because Kairos is within five feet of it. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll take that too. Um, Yeah, I want to... Uh... Is... Can I, can I, it just seems weird to be like, can I shoot this blood ooze with an arrow? Like ex expecting that would do damage, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. You start. can. Yeah. Oh, oh Steven, Shield of Faith is a bonus action. Sorry? Shield of Faith is a bonus action. So I still ah, have my, awesome. my action as well. So uh, Javelin. Nice. For four. Four piercing damage. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Thanks, chat. Fantastic. All right, uh, Sarek, go for it. Boop. That's oh, a... shit. And then That's a crit. Sneak attack as well. Yes. You do do one, two, six. That's plus, this is to the damage I would do normally, yes? Yes. You double the dice rolls. It's, it's 2d6 plus the damage you do normally. So roll another d6. One, two, six. Boop. Ha! Yo! Ha! 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 <laughs> Sorry, you just did <laughs> you as much damage as the freaking uh, fireball. 21 damage? Oh, 21. <laughs> you did more damage than the fireball. I got to protect my boy. I got to protect my boy. He was looking out for me. I got to look out for him. <laughs> there you go. All right, Aya. It's your turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love you, Jesse. <laughs> kind of awesome. like shift awkwardly and mutter like, I don't know how the boss is going to feel about this one. And um, I'm going to hex. real great. <laughs> I'm gonna hex it. Awesome. Yeah, and then um, I'm going to. Uh, I think I'm gonna use my Eldritch Blast. Actually, yeah. It's a strong option. Yeah. Oh, you nail it. Six and damage then. plus your hex, which actually doesn't roll, so it's the four damage. So yeah. you did ten damage, which is great. Fantastic. All right, Ankara, what do you do? Uh. Let's see. I'm trying to decide if I want to shoot it with arrows or just do. I mean, I saw that the fire worked well on it. So. Flame it. Why not both? Por que no los dos? Let's do. I'm sorry. Pardon? What, what, was, what was that? What was that? You know, like in the gift. Why not the two? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. What, why not both? What, what, was the, what was the last part? Don't call me out, Jesse. <laughs> I'll short throw it. All right, roll it up. Woo! 23 for five, okay. not bad. All right, it is blood ooze time. First it moves here, then it moves here. How fast does it move? 20 feet, then it moves here, Woo! then it moves here, sliming its way around. And then it attacks you, Kairos. Okay, AC 19. Hmm, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, you see, shield like, what does your shield of faith look like? Uh, it has the symbol, is the uh, symbol of my my legion, which looks like the interrupt symbol for Mass Effect. So it's like a star with chevrons in it. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, and that's all it does. It's your turn, buddy. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to burn my uh, bless spell here and channel it into a forceful javelin strike uh, called a smite attack. Uh, channeling, so I'm going to add an extra 2d8 points of damage uh, to my attack if it hits. Aren't you explicitly allowed to spend a smite after seeing if it hits or not? Uh, oh, all your damage, because your rolls right. are on fire. Uh, then I add 2d8. Sorry, I don't have that configured for smiting. Oh, whatever. That's uh, fine. So 12 damage. Yep, and I'm out of spells. 
Wait, nope. No, no, no. That's what I want. Minus 12. Fantastic. Right. All right, sorry. Uh, You're right next to it now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Um, can I cunning action back further and fire another arrow? Can I fall yes, back? Yes, you can use your cunning action to disengage, move back, and then fire your arrow with your action. That's my plan. That's what I want to do. But I also Ooh. use my inspiration. Nice. Yeah, you get the 24. Okay, roll your attack or roll your damage. Six piercing damage and then plus 1d6 for your... Um, snake attack. Yeah, for your snake attack. What is happening today with these rolls? Give You're on awesome. the rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Your MVP today, buddy. Thanks <laughs> to you. Statistically, MVP. All right, Aya, you're right next to it, so you're you, you're gonna have disadvantage on your um your ranged attack if you use that. Um, I'm gonna use my my sickle cane. Cool. Yeah, yeah I have the bloodborne like cane that turns into a whip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna pull that out and um like crack it so it goes into like its more malleable form. Yeah. And uh, lash out at it awesome. or attempt to. Okay, that hits. Dealing five slashing damage. Oh my goodness. Oh, six. <laughs> Would you believe it? But it takes no damage from your slash. Ooh, okay. That's and amazing. instead, it splits in half. I messed no! up. I'm sorry. I messed up. This was not good for I'm really sorry. I made. To oh, that was my fault. I cut it in half. Uh, Does anyone have a little jar, or can we like scoop it up? No. All right, Britt, you've mm -hmm. got a, a medium-sized big blood ooze in front of you that oh has been put in half. I call oh. out. I cut it down to a manageable size for you. <laughs> it's it's portion mouth, control is important. <laughs> it's, its mouth opens up and it says, "Ah ha ha, give cutting, give cutting." Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I guess I'll hit it with fire. Okay. Kill it with um, fire. Now Here. again, you are within uh, like that that disadvantage range. Wait to cast produce flame. Yeah, because you make a ranged spell attack. Oh, it is ranged. Yeah, because uh, it's ranged. Well, fuck. Let's see. I really don't have anything that. If you yeah. Not ranged and not a knife. Um. Is it thorn whip a melee spell attack? Thorn whip. Yeah, I'll do thorn whip. Good call. Yep. Just thorn whip. Oh, yeah, thorn whip. 6 piercing damage. All right, make a melee spell attack. So just roll 1d6? No, uh, it's 1d20 oh, plus right. your spell yeah. attack bonus, which I think is five for you. Yeah. Yeah, 14 hits. Now roll 1d6. Okay. <laughs> Bam. You know, every little bit ah! helps, Mara. <laughs> this big blood ooze slaps at you. <laughs> Hitting you. It slaps. It slaps. It slaps. Damn, it slaps. Let's see. Dealing you 1d6 plus 3 bludgeoning damage. 9 no. bludgeoning damage. And that I need a... you to make a DC 14 dexterity saving throw. That is a slap. Okay. And you have a blood <laughs> pseudopod attached to you. Great. Kairos, this other blood ooze attacks you. 19. Missing. All right. Kairos, it's your turn. Cool. Uh, I'm going to five foot step diagonally here and uh, attack the ooze that's attacking Brit. Cool. Uh, get the ones that are attacking my friends. Uh, so javelin strike. Uh, I don't get any benefit, I think, from anything else. So it's just regular strike. Mm -hmm. 12. Probably not enough. 12 does hit. These things have terrible Ooh. armor. For nine. Max nice. damage. You skewer the creature to the ground, slaying it. Give piercing as I like grab my <laughs> the the other one is like gavel. I mean, <laughs> it piercing. works. It's just I, actually wait. Its voice is like definitely higher. It's like give piercing. Give. <laughs> it's an octave higher. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sarek, it's your turn. Oh God. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot at the one that is coming up behind uh, Kairos, I think, yeah? Yep. Yeah, the remaining you have surviving it. Yeah. one. And you got the snake attack on it. Yep. Oh my god, I can do this. Okay. <laughs> and... <laughs> An eight! 
It's. What? Yes. <laughs> wow. Roll your shortbow damage as well. Oh. And and of course, roll your sneak attack. Seven piercing damage from your shortbow plus additional damage from your sneak attack. Eleven. Eight damage. What's a what's a four oh. sneak attack? Oh, oh, okay. The the sneak attack is like the set up the, to it as an attack oh, instead of a yeah. thing. Yeah, okay. All right, you slay the big blood ooze. As its body collapses onto the floor, it shivers and scintillates and then vanishes. I go over and pick up that pristine rope. The pristine rope and the pristine lantern? <laughs> uh, the rope. I keep the rope. Okay. Oh, Sark uh, takes the lantern. Sark grabs that lantern. Nice. Sark, you grab the lantern. And Kara, in the middle of the blood ooze pit, in the space left behind by the big blood ooze's body, as the lights from its scintillating fade, fade from your eyes, you see a faint blue glow. Oh, I'm going to go over and pick that up. Oh, yes. <laughs> Give me that tear. You collect a tear of salute. Yeah! Oh, Yay! <laughs> Just for the record, I'm going to clip you going, Give me that tear. Yeah. Oh, wait. Give me that tear. Yeah. Give me that tear. Where was he hiding that? <laughs> While like poking through like the the leftover ooze bits. I'm oh. secretly like very relieved that the tear was there because I feel guilty that we went through all the trouble to kill this blood ooze and roll a barrel down the stairs just for me to get a spell. Mm. Well, uh, you also get 14 gold pieces. Nice. That's as a group, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, How are you split that up? 14 gold pieces. However. Uh, as... That's three gold pieces for each person and then two left over. Clearly, those should go to Ankara for her quick thinking and wit. Not evenly. We all did very well. No, no she means I mean, the extra the pieces. Extra oh, yeah, yeah, the remainder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, do, I look at Sarek if Sarek's cool with that because I kind of think Sarek might want it. I don't care what Sarek wants. That's fair. I mean, I'm not, I don't care. I don't, I don't really have a dog in this fight. That's, I'm fine with it. Does Sarek want them? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> you were so quickly on my team and then immediately off of my team. You're like, I don't have a I... dog in this fight. You're like, Sarek, what are you? All right, I don't even care. That's, that's what you, like you, care. Just did. It's, you don't. You don't care. You're like, that's fine. Whatever. Just pick whatever restaurant you want. Well, if you care, you should tell me what restaurant. I do do that a lot. I'm like, whatever you like. So no, all right, you can have it. Here, I just give them to you. I don't, I don't want, want them. them. No, you take them. We're just leaving two gold pieces in the center of the dungeon, just on the floor. <laughs> I'll keep them then. If in part, yeah. Them. I think you're gonna give them. Okay. Oh, wait, you should get more more gold than that, actually. Whoa. Oh, okay. What's up? But hang on. I need, I need to tell you how much more gold you get. Because you get gold for each of the six. Uh, um, yeah. Gold. Yeah. We need to, I need to spend this gold. Does everyone, do we all have like a lot of gold? Yeah, I'm I did. 53 at the moment. Yeah, I'm 53. Should be buying tobacco or, or fancy wine or cheese for sure. <laughs> yeah, you, you oh, yeah, get another 38 gold pieces. Whee! So. With the extra two that were left in the middle of the floor, that's 40, which means each of you gets 10 gold. Cool. 63, 63 gold pieces. Oh, yeah. And, and the useful things were like 200. Is that what they, all the useful things that I wanted were about 200? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. We're, I'm making my way there. It's going to happen. Um, and Kara, you got hit, right? Mm hmm. Can I heal you up to full with six? I don't I remember how much damage you took. Uh, six will help. A you took lot. nine. Yeah, I'll give the rest of my. I'll give the remainder of my lay on hands to you. Thanks. Nice. All right, friends, we're fastly approaching the end of our time, okay. so I think probably this is where we should end it. Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> let's see. Before Before we go off, I'll say, um, Sarek and Kara Aya and um, Kairos, as you survey the now empty room, this black slab of obsidian on the wall catches your eye. It looks like there is a certain amount of depth to the glass and or maybe behind it. Anyway, join us next time for more Sunfall Cycle and we'll find out more about this crazy ridiculous dungeon. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. 
I really like that encounter because the multiple Clutch times I've run it, it has become this ridiculous, like, creative challenge, and you guys rose to the occasion. So thank you very much. <laughs> Did we? We just blew it up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, like, we got the barrel. I turned into a spider. We yes, blew I'm talking it about the, the like the want heavy thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, people get creative, and it's awesome. <laughs> and then you blew it up, which was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to a All point right. of creativity, and then we were like. Uh, screw it blow it up <laughs> uh uh bronze why don't you give us a shout out who are you what do you do on the internet oh yeah hi hello i'm that bronze girl and i spend a lot of time fishing and farming on the internet <laughs> um you can find me on twitter and on twitch at the same thing that bronze girl your one-stop shop for all frat boy douchebaggery on some fall cycle <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Britt, give us a shout out. Hello. Tell us a little bit about yourself. It's me, Britt Wiseman, still um, <laughs> here and on Twitter. <laughs> Jesse is so upset all the time. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm talking without thinking. Just let my brain flow. It's me uh, on Twitter. Thanks for watching and allowing me to play this game with you guys. This is really fun. Jesse, <laughs> I'm hiding away so you don't you don't blame it on me. I'm not. I mean, I don't have a lot to say here, so I just hope everyone has a good week and come back next week and see what else we blow up. Thanks. Excellent, Eric. <laughs> give us some shout outs. Tell us who yeah. you are. Tell tell people where they can find more quality Eric Vulgaris content. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm Eric. I'm Eric Fulgaris everywhere. I'm also a role-playing game person, playing a lot of D&D these days, but also Urban Shadows. Uh, did a one-shot of Monster Hearts. Also run Mouse Guard a lot. Mouse Guard's one of my favorite games. Uh, and uh, I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. If you're if you're doing that, if that's a thing that you do. Um, seriously, uh, Jesse, Steven, uh, Britt, Bronze, thank you so much for letting putting up with me every day. It's super great. And uh, next week is PAX Unplugged. So if you're going there, I'll be there. So if you're if you're in Philly, uh, it'd be great to say hi to you. To you. I, lo I love that city. I love that convention. Uh, I run I run a game for you, maybe if it's possible. I love running games for strangers. I do. I'm a weirdo like that. So that's pretty weird. Yeah, I would want to talk to other people that share common interests with them. That's weird. Yeah, it's, I know. it's disgusting. If you see me at a convention, walk the other fucking way. No eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? How dare you even be here? <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you, chat, for helping me out today. And you're all super fun. Awesome. Uh, I'm Steven at Silent Osiris on the internet. The O is a zero. Um, you know, follow me for more great Sunfall Cycle content and or thoughts about the games industry and video games. And I will see you next week for more awesome Dungeons and Dragons. Take it away, Jesse. Yo, that's it for us. Uh, hi, Jesse Cox still. Uh, <laughs> your boy. But how would your you boy. tell me to do it, Jesse? What's the uh, right? Uh, what would you yes. tell me? What the right way? Uh, this this is Jesse with? Cox. Hello. Uh, just, you've reached my answering machine. <laughs> I just it, you don't do anything wrong. I just love the fact that you go comma still. Like it's just in case I, you were wondering, it's me still. <laughs> it is still me. Every week to week. Don't worry. My body hasn't been taken over by aliens. It's still me. I believe but that's a genuine exactly concern. That's what an alien would say. <laughs> How much center. of your body has been replaced based on the food you've eaten? And at what point is it no longer really you? I think there's a real thesis of shit. That's wife. just like, but like, do you realize how suspect that sounds? That's just like me saying like, I mean, I'm good at things, but that doesn't mean I'm a robot. Because those don't exist. Yeah, There's no I, I, way I could be a machine covered in human flesh. I'm not going to tell you <laughs> that I am an alien, but I'm going to tell you that I'm not. Yeah, guys, I do a lot of things here on, on the stream and on uh, the various things that I host. And this week, I'm definitely not going to kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> Live on Twitch. Yeah, I definitely won't kill someone tomorrow. That's crazy. <laughs> I just want everyone to come back every week and be like, is she still Brit this week, though? <laughs> She's... You, you've now drawn that into question. People are gonna be asking that question every yes. week. Yep. Is her. it still from Brit? now on? We will definitively answer the question of is she still Brit Wiseman? Okay. Yeah. 
All right. Well, that is enough of us this week. I hope uh, if you're in the States, you enjoy your holiday and time with your family. And if you're not, uh, still, go enjoy and spend time with your family. That's it for us. Thank you so much. And uh, we will see you guys next week with an all-new episode. Bye, everybody. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, the thing music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a production of broadcast. Now, here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. <laughs> <laughs>